Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's December the 10th, 2021 Avalanche. Yeah, I wanted to come in today and provide an update to each and every one of you about Avalanche. If Avalanche is your cryptocurrency of interest, well, you're at a great spot. I'm going to speak about where I'm looking at the market and Avalanche going. Now, you guys can see from the last video that I've done in Avalanche that the market did go up. But look at it now. Price has actually came back down to where we expected it to go. So now it's time for me to come back in and tell you all what I'm noticing on a chart for Avalanche without the confusion, without using technical indicators, without looking at 15 articles to try to distinguish where price is going to go. No, I don't do that. I only look at the price bars and the volume to determine what the market is trying to do. So if you guys find that very interesting, make sure you hit the like button instead of being also subscribe here to the channel to ensure you stay updated on to what I'm noticing from the price perspective. So real quick, let me break down the market action against my last video or price prediction for Avalanche, which was on November the 16th. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer to what the market has done. You guys can see it. I was playing the weakness in Avalanche on that particular day. I was looking for the market to come down, right? Now, it kind of seems as if we were a little bit early to the party. It seemed like we was the only ones looking for price to go down during that mid-November time frame. But now, take a look at the market action in Avalanche. We did come down to those two lines. Now, I was telling you all on November the 16th to be prepared for the market in Avalanche to try to grab support around $80, no lower than this ascending line. So this is a very important update that I'm speaking to you all regarding Avalanche because we cannot let the price break this ascending line, all right? So if you guys are able to grab the profitability from our last video, price prediction on December 4th, 5th, or 6th, you guys would have received about 14% profitability right there. Now, if you were to get out the market now in Avalanche, we'll have a profitability of about one and a quarter percent. But that's cool, right? It's, it's decent. It's not what we expected, but we'll take it because we were leaving with more than what we originally entered the market prediction with. So let me go ahead and get rid of this because I really want to show you all the importance of Avalanche holding this ascending line. This is very important. So let me extend out this trend in the market in Avalanche. You guys can see that we've been tracking price in avalanche right here alongside this ascending line right market has been able to sustain itself above this trend we cannot break this we can't because if we break this ascending line in the market in avalanche guess what right we, we're not going to expect the price to go up we have to follow what the market is majority telling us to do now i will tell you over the last five six trading days it's been decent Right. The buyers has been stepping in the market and allowing price to maintain itself above that ascending line. It has to continue because for the most part, Avalanche has just been trading sideways over the last six days, which means that, yeah, the buyers are stepping in around $80. That's where they're at. They're not trying to drop the price below $80. So let's try to take a look at this on a different perspective to see will they be successful. All right. So let's look at this on a two-day time frame because let me show you these arrows here these price bars right here lets us know that the buyers are definitely coming through they're here because the market was able to dip it came down to 80 dollars, but we was able to see the market close towards the high of the bar on the one that started december the 5th and then we saw it again on december the 7th so the last four to six trading days buyers has been stepping in the market in avalanche now you guys should see something though that is causing the problem in Avalanche for breaking up higher than 95. It's restriction, look at that. The market is being restricted right there around $90, $95. So we have to believe what we're seeing because if the market in Avalanche truly was strong, if there was a lot of demand coming into the market in Avalanche, we would have seen price break above 95. But for some reason, we're not seeing that. And this is our third consecutive two-day price bar of the market in Avalanche not being able to break above $95. That's the lid. That is where the sellers are at. So we have already shown you, based off price movement, where the buyers are at, $80, and where the sellers are at, $95. That is where the battle is being waged between those market participants, all right? So let me show you all the three-day time frame here in Avalanche. So check this out. We got a day and 13 hours left on this current three day price bar. And currently 
the market it, it doesn't look that weak anymore right it doesn't look as weak as this three-day price bar that started on december 3rd it doesn't look that weak as a matter of fact we saw strength come in on this last completed three-day price bar we started on december the 6th the market did go lower but we saw the price go up so currently it's not that much weakness here being revealed in avalanche five day time frame take a look at this what do you all think do you think the price is going to elevate do you think price is going to rise or do you think price is going to drop 80 dollars and even break that ascending line we have to think logically we have to think ahead of everyone else so that we can be in position and win from this move so what are you noticing it's the weekly time frame yeah this, this is the weekly and taking a look at the market in avalanche from a week perspective is literally where i'm still seeing a weakness so from a time period perspective i will say from a daily time frame to three day time frame yes the market in avalanche can go up yes but when you change when you transition it over to a weekly this is where the weakness is still dominating we're still seeing a weakness so from a weekly two weeks three weeks maybe a monthly time frame we can still expect for the weakness to dominate this space from that time frame okay i mean think about it look at this on the two weeks this is the two week perspective into the market in avalanche now i don't like what's going on on the two week time frame in avalanche so if you're trying to play the strength in the market in avalanche you will have to play it on a smaller time frame the daily two day three day maybe four or five day time frame but anything outside of a four day to five day time frame longer you have to be prepared for the market to go lower right you have to because of what we're noticing on the weekly and the two weeks time frame this is even here on the three weeks i mean look how we concluded on this last three weekly price bar that is not satisfying to see if we're looking for the price to go up in avalanche it's not so considering how we don't do a daily prediction for Avalanche, I'm going to have to play the weakness from a weekly perspective, okay? And that will make us at least see price break that overall important ascending line. We Even I, I don't want it to see it happen, but we have to expect it to occur so that we won't be caught off guard when the market actually does break it, okay? So let me go ahead and switch this back over to the daily time frame real quick. And we're going to play the weakness now i am seeing the strength into the market in avalanche right that's why i'm trying to tell you from a daily perspective yes we can see price go up i'm prepared for that and i'm going to take it all the way up here to 100 dollars. okay so that literally means that as long as price in avalanche trades below 100 dollars, right we can expect the price to continue to trend lower okay now, let me give you all my expectations, though, because I don't want you all to think that I'm completely looking for the market to break that ascending line because that, too, will go against my price prediction. So I'll have to be prepared for us to nibble and eat off the market in avalanche at these crucial support areas. Namely, the first area is going to be right there, eighty five dollars. So as we see and anticipate the price to dip in avalanche, we will have to get that four and three quarters of a percent market move in avalanche yeah we would and then the second area would be not 85 the second area would be 80 which will give us 9.45 percent profitability right there okay and then the third area i'm going to bring it all the way down here towards 70 or like 72 dollars and 36 cents Okay, now that will take us breaking this trend, right? It will. And for, for this type of prediction, it's going to take us a couple of weeks. Okay, so if you if you plan this on a daily, then this prediction that I'm doing for you right now is not applicable because, yeah, we can actually see price go up from a daily perspective. But on a weekly basis, which is what this prediction is applicable for, I'm playing a weakness here. Okay. So let me go ahead and extend it down a little bit lower. I'm taking this down to 70 for Avalanche. And that will make us break these all important support and ascending line. Okay. 
So this is it. We have um, first area for us to nibble off some profits around 85. Second is 80. Third is 70. All right, that's what I'm looking forward to from a longer term perspective, i.e. a weekly time frame. Okay, not a daily, not an hourly, not a monthly, but a weekly perspective. It's what I'm seeing the weakness from, which is why I'm creating this prediction for Avalanche of it going down. Now, it's not extremely weak. So for those of you who are trying to play the strength into the market at Avalanche, I get it. But currently, the market environment is still telling us that the market generally is still giving us some weakness. And we're just trying to be prepared for it. I'm not here to convince you. I'm just showing you what the market has literally done and what is this trying to show us now? So now it's your turn though. I mean, you can drop your price prediction right now in the comment section of this video to tell everyone where do you expect the market price in Avalanche to go in the next three to four weeks. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.